In Venezuela, we also have massive protests. The deadly violence in Venezuela. We saw what had become the biggest street protests in Venezuela in the past 10 years. The largest wave in a decade of anti-government demonstrations has been sweeping through Venezuela since early February. For many people, this is just something they see on the nightly news. But for others, there is a much greater meaning. Everyone that is trying to live is, is living. No one, no one wants to stay in Venezuela. Uh, that's my mom's younger brother. Manuel Barueta moved from Venezuela to Canada with his family when he was just a boy. The family moved for a better life and a better standard of living. But being away from your native country is hard in a situation like this. Violence is it's too much. Last year there were 25,000 homicides and no one is accountable for that. The government denies it and says that there is there's nothing going on. His family recently became Canadian citizens. But even though the family is now legal citizens of another country, it is still hard to watch knowing family is still there. I, I, I feel bad about it. I mean, like, I don't, I don't want them to be there, but really, I feel worse for me being here Why? and not being able to help. Over it. Because if I was there at my 23 years old, I would be a student over there. So it would be my responsibility to to be in the streets too. The protest began in February. Students demanded increased security after a female student said she was a victim of an attempt at rape. For many Venezuelans, this was the last straw. As more and more protesters began to hit the streets, the situation became violent. Santiago Chavez is originally from Ecuador, but being the son of a diplomat, he moved from country to country. During his childhood, his family spent a few years in Venezuela, just enough time to make a few friends. Friends he now worries about. You know, heartbreaking to me. I know that many of my friends who are there are scared and they still have to go out. And I think that courage, that human unity, uh, in, with, with an underlying tone of courage, I think is inspiring. And, and uh, I think they're rightfully protecting themselves or families from a state that regardless, you know, aside from the fact of, of whether or not you like the economic policies and many things like that, uh, is, is being harsh, cruel, beating down on them. And I know it's also very hard for my friends who are here and for my friends who are in other universities around the world who try to do the little that they can First of all, by staying informed and keeping, giving support to their own family members and friends, but also by trying to uh, make a little bit of concern for what's happening in Venezuela a little bit contagious because there's so many things going on you know, all over the world that, are, that can be heartbreaking for people who have some sort of relationship to it. At a multicultural fair in Fregerton, international students encouraged protesters with a picture posted to Facebook. Social media is one of the few methods Venezuelans can get news as many news organizations have been bought out by the government or blocked. Isabella Makovsky moved to Canada for university. She couldn't believe how different life was here compared to home. Life here is wonderful. Real, like, you have security, you have health. Like, everyone is really nice. You are not afraid about anything. You know, if you work, don't worry, you're going to get paid. Back home is way different, like, I cannot go out, first of all. My mom doesn't let me go out. I am 21 years old and I can drive my car until 6 p.m. because my mom will be afraid for me to be kidnapped or killed or that's life back home. She's personally felt the impact of living in a violent country where something could happen at any moment. It's horrible. My boyfriend actually was shot last year. They were trying to kidnap him and he just got shot. Like, he was lucky enough he didn't get killed or anything like that, but that's life there. Keep fighting. We're gonna let these people keep running our country. We need to fix it. This is our Venezuela. For Stu Journalism, I'm John Munn.